Welcome to The Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. All views expressed by speakers on The Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on The Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. The Bean Pod is presented by Dowmaker, the top crypto launchpad in the industry. Dowmaker allows people to participate in top crypto projects before they launch and generate some of the best returns you can find anywhere. They also provide growth solutions for crypto projects that are looking for funding and assistance with marketing. With their revolutionary new public strongholder offerings, everyone can get early access to top crypto projects regardless of their net worth. Dowmaker is rapidly disrupting the venture capital industry. If you're interested, head over to dowmaker.com to learn more. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today we're going to be talking about NFT crypto tokens. Because NFTs are so hot right now, this is where all the money could be flowing into. Some of these projects look like absolute gems. Right. So all the money right now is in profile picture NFTs, JPEGs, you know, in-game asset NFTs. But if you look at the actual projects that are NFT tokens that have, you know, coins with charts, a lot of them are still sitting pretty low. So, you know, I think people will, the, the peak of the NFT bubble will pop and those money will f- potentially flow into the NFT projects that you can invest in as opposed to just the pictures. Right. So we're going to cover a few different NFT projects, some NFT marketplaces, some NFTs that actually, marketplaces that actually have a coin. Yep. So kind of a little bit of a narrative around all NFTs and where you could actually make some money off of. There's going to be some large caps, you know, some of the industry dominating players that we that we think you need to know. And then, of course, we're going to throw in some small cap gems. So make sure you listen to the end of this one. <laughs> <laughs> let's start off with a small cap gem. Let's, right. ta- let's talk about one that you and I have both been really hyped on, and that's Sombra Network. For sure. Yeah, this is just an absolute find. So you and I, I think we posted some videos about this. Uh, made a discord post back when it was sitting at like three cents or something like that and it went all the way up to 10 cents so it was a quick like 3x for any one of our subscribers and listeners definitely Uh, what makes this so special so sombra networks they make 3d unique nft avatars for the metaverse and what's crazy about sombra is they're a micro cap project who is now partnered with the nfl and Ticketmaster. they are making and at time of recording it's about to come up NFT tickets for the Super Bowl. Like this is, and they look really fucking cool. Mm. So like this is an amazing project with AAA partnerships that people are sleeping on, right? Yeah, absolutely. So customizable NFT avatars for the metaverse and they are creating NFTs for one of the largest sporting organizations in North America. Right, so they already did the tickets for, I think it was the Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, game, the Green Bay Packers, Detroit Lions tickets. And that was very much flew under the radar. No Mm -hmm. one was really talking about it, but we we kept this on our watch list. And then as soon as we saw this Super Bowl news hit, again, people are sleeping on it. We made the posts, post in the Discord, and this thing is flying. Yep, community Uh, looks strong. They have, I think there's some play to earn games coming out. They have a partnership with Bonfire NYC, so partnerships with PayPal, Samsung. They, they're doing work for those for those it's, companies. It's crazy. Um, it's an excellent under the radar low cap gem, and it had to be brought to the to your attention immediately. Yep, love it. So Somber Networks probably are one of our favorite small cap gems. Mm. Um, let's let's go back to the top. Would be the large cap gems. So obviously, when you're talking about NFT projects, crypto projects that benefit from the rise of nfts obviously ethereum and solana we don't have to talk about those those are the first two you know they run the nft game Mm. after that you have tezos right and today it just the announcement just came out that they're going to be the main sponsor for manchester united right on the shirt cristiano ronaldo is going to be wearing the tezos logo that's huge so one it's you know crypto adoption is going mainstream Uh, the reason that tezos is so good and it's benefiting from the rise of NFTs. It's kind of like Solana. It's super fast, zero gas fees, zero minting. It's more of like a community-based and owned organization rather than maybe a Solana or Ethereum. Um, so that's, I think it's probably number three in terms of most popular NFT blockchains. And I see a lot of creators now minting on Tezos. Right. Um, so naturally, the coin rises in value. I think the market cap's around three or four billion, um, but that's tiny compared to some of the other bigger blockchains. So definitely put Tezos on the watch list. I like it. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Um, so let's go with another one here. I got Veracity. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Market cap of around 
I, th- I believe off the top of my head, it's around 300 mil or so. They have a patent, patent uh, proof of view protocol on the blockchain. It's the first one. And they have a patent in the US and in China to basically proof of view means that advertisers, when they spend their billions of dollars, typically there's going to be bots and fake views, which are costing the advertisers millions upon millions of dollars. And they don't even realize it, right? They don't even realize it. So what this does, it in, it ha- I think it has something like 200 touch points on the screen and on the viewership to know if it's a human or if it's a bot interacting. Smart. So this is going to save, I think the overall market between China and the US is half a trillion dollars in advertising spend, something in, insane number. Wow. So these guys are expanding their POV, POV tech into NFTs. And that's why I'm bringing this up. Yeah, I like it, man. Veracity has been such a gem. We've been on that one in the Discord as well. We caught the bounce. We caught the bottom there. And um, yeah. So it's going to be on-chain, on-chain verification, making NFTs more valuable and saving buyers the headache. They're going to know if these are real. Right. You know? So it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, love Veracity. I think I, I, we we're, both, we're both in that one right now. Yeah. Um, that's probably a long-term hold. I would sure. not sell that. Another one is Flow. So this is kind of like Tezos. It's another uh, blockchain that NFTs are building rapidly on. Um such top names as, you know, NBA Top Shot. NBA Top Shot was one of the first big uh, NFT projects for the sports industry. So they have NBA, UFC, Samsung, Ubisoft, Warner Music Group, and La Liga and NFL are going to be doing NFTs on Flow blockchain as well. Mm. One of my buddies back in Toronto, he's been into NFTs probably earlier than I am, and he's always t- telling me about this Flow blockchain. Um, so he's been an early adopter to that one. And I, now I see because all the sporting NFTs and different brands are using Flow. Um, again, it's the reason why they're using Flow, the advantage it has over to maybe an Ethereum or a Solana to program and mint and build NFTs and marketplaces on Flow is super simple. It's like almost like a no code, easy to learn code. So the barrier to adoption, barrier to entry is very low. Right. So these big brands that don't necessarily have blockchain experience, experience with NFTs, it's a great onboarding way for them. So Flow is going to see a lot of new brands that have never even heard of NFTs they come through Flow first. Mm. So Flow has a token. Um, I think it's around $3 billion market cap. Again, I think that, that thing has big potential. Yeah, I, I actually jumped into that around 600 mil or nice. so. I heard a bunch of the uh, NBA guys are buying it. And there was not really much publicity around it yet. So I was like, all right, maybe they know. It's like insider buying. Yeah, yeah insider you know, buying. What Love do they it. know? What do they yeah. know that I don't? So That's it. Love it. you. Let's move on to your next one. I see you have another uh, large cap. Engine. Yeah. So Engine, I feel like, you know, when, when we, we've been on NFT tokens for a long time now, and mm-hmm. we've always been talking about Engine. Um, so Engine's sitting around like a two, $2.5 billion market cap. It's one of the big boys. It's If you go to NFT token lists on CoinMarketCap, it's always there, right? So what does Engine do? So basically, Engine is a suite of integrated products that make NFTs easy for businesses, institutions, developers, and individuals. Super simple. Right. So they're basically making any business that wants to create the NFTs, they do it for them. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. So <clears throat> diving into Engine here, I found a little healthcare uh, gem, it looked like. It's called Go, and it's by Health Hero, but it's powered by Engine. So th- this is just an example of what en- why Engine is so valuable. Right. This basically, you, you have, it's really cool. So you have this NFT, and it's, a, it's like an image of you in a, in a way. And the more you exercise the different traits that you get. That's fucking So your cool. own personal avatar NFT changes the more you exercise. 38,000 companies are already onboarded with this program Damn. called, uh, what is it? Go by Health Hero. Uh, Microsoft, Salesforce, big like tech companies where people are usually sitting around a lot are all using it. Is this a token? Is it an NFT? How do people so, no, get it's just it? Pow- it's powered by Engine. Okay. I, I want you guys to pay attention to uh, Health Hero yeah. by Go because they could be releasing you know, a token or NFTs or something or like NFT. that. Yeah, so yeah. It's, like, it's just it's, a cool concept. It's worth watching for sure. And it's just also showing the power of engine engine and engine. It, t- it ties into your Apple watch and all that. Yeah, so, oh, for sure. Yeah. Engine's really cool project. They're, they're so they're OG in the game. They're founded in 2009. So they're actually engine was set up not specifically for blockchain and NFTs. They've been working in the gaming community space for, you know, decades. So they've already got these partnerships. That's why they were able to integrate so quickly. Um, they did their ICO in two, uh, 2017 in the initial bull run. So these guys, they, they haven't just appeared on the scene. They are OG with a lot of experience. So Engine is a rock solid NFT project. I like it. What else you got? Um, so I'm going to talk about an actual NFT. Okay. Um, you know, I don't buy a ton of them. You know, I have a, a golden grenade, have moon boots, moon boots, have some Doge Dash. Yep. 
this one I really want to get my hands on. It's called the Chosen Ones NFT for a couple reasons here. They're building a next-gen battle game. It's powered by Polygon and Unity, you know, so big brands yeah. like it. Uh, you can use them as avatars in the metaverse or in their play to earn game. The play to earn game is actually already being de- like developed. And here's, so their, t- their team is stacked. Hedera Hashgraph, chief marketing officer is on their advisory board. That's, love it. Like that, that's a top we 30 love project H-bar, yeah. backing, you know, this little NFT project. Yeah. Um, it's done by Fort Gaming, who are the founders of the largest esports brands in Latin America, Infinity Sports. They're sponsored by BMW and TikTok. Nice. So again, I'm going into the team here. They also partnered uh, with Good Gamer Entertainment. This is the ones who have actually built the game. They have exclusive game studio that with experience from Disney and EA Sports. Stack team, stack experience. Stack Always a good team. sign, right? And I've watched this Discord grow from 2,000 members when I first posted about these guys up to 50,000 in like wow. a week or two. Insane. So, so are the NFTs dropping? They've dropped. N- NFTs are dropping, I think, February 22nd. Okay. Um, hopefully, this. I think this podcast should be released by then. Yep. Uh, Chosen, one, Chosen Ones NFT. Definitely want to check out. Awesome. I like it. Um, back to kind of large mid-cap NFT projects. Another one we always talk about is Chili's, right? Mm. So Chili's is really cool because they, they have a brand that makes sports fan tokens for organizations. So they're partnered with Barcelona, Man U, PSG, Juventus, all these big soccer teams. And they basically make you know a blockchain integrated NFT fan token and organization so that people that love the teams can get a better engagement, right? So if you you know, you can get the, the Manchester City token and that put, could potentially make, give you, allow you to vote on certain decisions within the club or if, you know, I don't know, all sorts of different things. And the fan token, you know, it could re- reflect the price of how the team is doing. Uh, there's different going to be merchandise opportunities, VIP access that the token, it's kind of like a, a club membership, but it's a tradable token. Right. So they've already got all these tokens for these big European football soccer teams. And they've just started to make inroads into North America, right? They've got a few NBA teams maybe coming through. Mm -hmm. I think the potential is massive. They are the dominant force in basically an industry that they've created themselves. So I think that, you know, long term over the next five, 10 years, I can see almost every single large North American, European, Asian sport franchise potentially getting a Chili's token. Yeah. So it's it's fan voting, right? Yeah. So I wonder... uh, so what sort of voting can they, what sort of voting can a fan do? Like, are they going to say, we want the jerseys to be green instead of red? Uh, you know, so along those lines? Yeah, it could be something like that. And then I wonder if the owners are going to start tying in, um, you know, the, I wonder if the owners are going to start tying in this to their, their, yeah, to their pocketbooks, you know? It's, it's almost like a, an integration of a DAO community. Yeah. Like the DAO, you know, the voting. So I think there's a lot of potential. Uh, it's a really, I mean, we're huge sports fans. We know the Super Bowl episode. Um, anything with sports, NFTs, and blockchain, I'm all about it. So, yeah, definitely Chili's. Yeah, Chili's, on, Chili's is high on my list. Perfect. I do own some of that, and I do see, foresee big things. Yep, for sure. All right, uh, what do you got next? I want to jump into another NFT I think people should try to get their hands on, uh, and that's Moon Boots. Okay. Uh, basically, depending on the rarity, it's, it's, it's essentially a membership card, right, that allows you to get indirect access to pre-sales, We've talked about this on our crypto launch pad. Getting into the pre-sales are what give you the biggest gains. 100%. Right? So if you hold one of these moon boots, you can potentially get airdropped tokens from one of the direct sale, uh, private sales. You can also get access to white, white listings. So there's so much potential. Yeah. And they don't sell for that much. I think it's like 0.015 ETH or something right. like that. Um, so basically, there's a community fund. You can collect rewards off of them. You get education you can because crypto is so new to everybody so now you can get firsthand access to some of the best experts in the world and you can speak to them and learn more about crypto so i I find that really cool it's really cool and especially if you go onto the website of the venture capital firm behind it you can see all the projects they've had in the pre-sale opportunities in the past so such gems as what polka dot moonbeam some great play to earn games blocktopia did a 1700 x star atlas i think was on there uh, that did a 600 x crazy so if you hold one of these moon boots you could potentially <laughs> turn like 500 bucks into a lot of money yeah a 1700 x on, on that yeah that's massive massive so there yeah um the alt you can also win a golden grenade which ensures that you can put you can for sure get access to these private sales right 
So in order to get a golden grenade, you have to hold one of these moon boots and the golden grenades go for like 12,000 bucks. I like it. Moon boots, put that one on your list. Yeah. What do you got? I have um, back to tokens. Uh, This is one that we've discussed in the discord a lot. We've discussed it between us. Immutable X. Mm. So Immutable X, it's a token IMX around an $800 million market cap. It's the first layer two scaling solution for NFTs on Ethereum. So everyone that trades NFTs, buys NFTs on Ethereum knows the problems. It's too slow. It's too expensive. The gas fees are out of control and the transactions can fail and take a long time, right? So Immutable X is coming to solve these issues with a scaling solution, which is going to potentially offer zero gas fees, zero minting fees without compromising security. Um, Vitalik Buterin, he's been open, openly speaking about how layer twos in the short to midterm are the way to improve the experience on Ethereum. And with the rise of NFTs on Ethereum, I think Immutable X is a great play. Now, I have to mention, they just had their partnership announcement with GameStop yep. to build a $100 million uh, partnership to build their NFT marketplace. And I posted on Twitter and in the Discord 24 hours before that happened. And I had no idea. I did not have any insider information. I just thought this was a good time to get into Immutable X. It had come down since the IDO. Then that news dropped and the token spiked like 40% right away. I'm looking like a genius. (laughs) But then the insiders in the deal dumped about $40 million of the tokens on the public. So it spiked up and immediately crashed. And you know what? They lost my trust a little bit with that because if the insiders are dumping at that point there when the partnership has just begun, don't they see the long-term value in this company? Mm. So I, I sold my tokens. I'm out for now, um, but it's it's still on my watch list. So they need to regain your trust is what you're I mean, saying? It's great technology. Yeah. You know, it just makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But I just didn't like that. You know, it left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm. Me too. I mean, I, I do hold some immutable X as well. And seeing that, seeing that spike in this, it's like, if you believe in the project, Hold your tokens and don't rinse the the people who are invested. And in. what do they think? It's the blockchain. Everyone knows. They see who is selling. Yeah. They can see your addresses. It's just like, okay. Yeah. So anyway, keep Immutable X on your watch list, but just know there's a little shady shit going on inside mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. What do you got? So staying with all things NFTs, I'm a big gamer. I like the NFT marketplace Fractal. Okay. Worth checking out. Uh, I believe they have these little NFT snowflake looking things called Fractals. And they all obviously like any NFT project, there's different rarities and all this other stuff. But what I liked about it, it's launched on Solana and it's power. Um, and it was started up by the co-founder of Twitch. Justin Khan, right? Twitch is a, a massive, it's man. That's where all the gamers are. That guy's such a legend, right? Follow him on TikTok and Twitter. He is just such a good guy. So I kind of want to be, I always look to the team and that's, you know, speaking about the chosen ones and NFTs, always looking to the team. And I like that they also have some e-com specialists from Google and Shopify on there as well. Um, you get with these NFTs and on this marketplace, you get access to special levels, different characters. So as a big gamer, I just want that to be on people's lists because it looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Next, I have um, just a, a few different and smaller cap NFT marketplaces. So we have Looks Rare. Uh, who's sitting around 800, 850 million market cap. And they've hit the, hit the news lately because they did a massive airdrop for their looks token. So the way that the airdrop worked is if you had ever traded NFTs on OpenSea with MetaMask on Ethereum, um, if you had done over a certain amount, they would just send you for free their token. You just have to pay the gas fees. Right. Um, so it's a, way of, it's a common way of onboarding new users that a lot of marketplaces have been doing. Um, but theirs was wildly successful. And I think they onboarded a ton of new users from OpenSea have now switched to the looks rare marketplace. I had a little look around on there. I've never actually used it to mint or buy any NFTs. It's a little bit more user friendly than OpenSea, I would say. I think their their angle is they're more of a community based, community owned than OpenSea, which maybe has been a bit of a more corporate feel. Um, OpenSea does not have a token. Looks rare has a token. So those would be the main differences. So I would look at looks rare. And then the other, other two ones I want to quickly mention as competitor NFT marketplaces are super rare and rareable. They both have tokens. Rareable, do you remember when we first started getting into yeah, NFTs? Yeah, yeah. It was one of the big ones. But where they fucked up was to mint an NFT on rareable was like $120, $150 per NFT. Whereas OpenSea said you pay the one-time minting fee and then everything else is free. Mm. And that was just a huge game changer. Everyone flocked to OpenSea. Now it's the biggest NFT marketplace in the world. Whereas Rarible had a bit of an advantage at the start, but it's still it's still there. Uh, people are still using it. So you know, if you think the NFT marketplaces will explode as a whole, you could check those out. Yeah, sounds great. I like it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with one last one here. Uh, so basically, this this is like a micro, micro, micro cap. I think the, love it. The current market cap is 
under 500,000. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. The, but the fully diluted market cap is 40 million. Okay. Okay. So there's still some tokens to be released. I wanted to find NFTs that really are going to have some real use case in life, in actual real world utility. This is the first medical and scientific NFT marketplace. All right. It's called Amatus. Trades under the ticker AIMX. It's AI supported digital health ecosystem secured by the blockchain. It's an NFT marketplace to monetize your data. So basically you have a big company like 23andMe. You know, you can send in for DNA sampling and figure out where your ancestors and all that stuff is from. Maybe any health issues you're going to have. They're using your data, collecting it, and then selling it to third parties, making drugs. They're making billions of dollars off of this. Cool. Now with this, when you can have your health information as an NFT, you are now taking control of your data. Mm, And that's why I found this quite interesting. And it's what else? It's preventing medical errors, drug mix up, mix ups, everything's tracked. Your whole personal healthcare profile is on this NFT. Mm. And I found scary in a way to have your whole health profile there. Like, you know, on the blockchain, is it public? Can people see it? It's well that no, that's the other thing. It's, it's transparent. It's yet, but it's secure, but it's it's transparent for the people that you allow access. Right. To so it's have private, it. but yeah, exactly. It's a private blockchain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they already have a, a functioning app and their, their integrated system is fully compatible with today's hardware and software. Interesting. So super, super low market cap. Yeah. Super early stage, right? Like super, probably haven't seen any adoption yet. Dude, but this is so early, yeah. but that's why I want to put it on people's list. Interesting. Because it's healthcare NFTs. And it's the first, sure. first to do it. Yeah, I like it. Um, now on the now we're on to small cap gems. We're going to stick with that for now. So the next one I have is Epic Prime. It's like a fifty million dollar market cap around there. Uh, launched by Dowmaker. This was a great project um, that was launched by the best crypto launch pad in the game, which is always a good sign because you know the team is good. They're legit. Uh, what Epic Prime does is they're an NFT platform. They work with like all the best gaming companies in the world to make their in game assets. So similar to a company like Engine, but a little bit more focused on specifically gaming. Their team, you know, we always talk about, look at the team, look at their experience. They have advisors from Nintendo, Tetris, and Pokemon. So three of the biggest video game brands in the world on this team. Mm. So that's right there. Huge green tick for me. Um, As a lot of charts do, it's seen a post-IDO dump. It's seen a little spike, but then the market tanked, so it went back down again. So I think if you look at what they're doing, huge market. All these video games are probably, you know, going to eventually integrate with NFTs at some point in some form. They've got an experienced team. They're already working with some of the biggest brands in the world. It's super early stage because they really haven't seen a ton of adoption yet, but it's a new project. They just launched, you know, in the past six months. So Epic Prime, small cap NFT gem for sure. Yeah. And I mean, when you look at some of these charts now that are sitting at 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, and for two years, they're hovering around three, four, five cents, you know, and you're like, fuck, why wasn't I in that back then? Mm. Some of these are could be that project and it might be worth allocating a couple bucks in it requires a lot of conviction you know like you just have to watch this number sit in your portfolio and potentially you know bleed out just a (laughs) little bit every month but you know that you know if it goes down five percent every month eventually it will spike a thousand percent so it's it really will test your conviction because you you'll always say to yourself why don't i just sell this and go into this project that's mooning like a sombra networks but Mm -hmm. like just have to have conviction in those long-term plays so i think epic prime would be another one like that Um, another small cap gem i have which is Similar market cap around 30 mil is Curate, uh, X-C-U-R, X-Cure. They're the world's first gasless multi-chain NFT marketplace. Um, so they have NFT auctions, NFT minting, cross-chain NFT integration, um, super low seller commission for both buying and selling. Um, I think it's on-chain, or sorry, multi-chain, cross-chain NFT marketplaces I think are going to be the new thing. OpenSea is Ethereum, Solana to Solana. But cross-chain, multi-chain interoperability is such a huge trend in crypto right now. You know, people are going to want to trade their DGen ape on Solana for exactly. uh, board ape on Ethereum or Avalanche or whatever, right? So I think um, these guys have got a great experienced team behind them. They're doing some big partnerships in the crypto industry. And for a small cap like 30 mil with that technology and that team and partnerships, that is a gem. I've had that on my list for a while now. Could look to start a position soon. Yeah, it's starting to curl up now. Uh, you know, 25 mil market cap. I like that the circulating supply is fully out there and it's only 8.5 mil. Yeah. Uh, and th- as a max supply. So that's right. really small, you know, hot sector. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Well, 
Another, the last small cap gem I have, which is basically similar to Curate, it's called NFTB. It's even smaller market cap, 15 mil. It's one of the top NFT marketplaces on the Binance Smart Chain, which I think is kind of an overlooked sector for NFTs, but you know they're going to come come to fruition. They also have a plan for cross-chain swap. They also have a NFT launchpad, which not a lot of market, marketplaces have. So that's kind of one of their um, selling points. And I thought I would just throw it in there because 15 mil is a tiny market cap. And they're also backed by Binance. Right. So, yeah. Good partnerships, good technology, good roadmap. Those are the small cap gem tick boxes right there. I like it. Yeah. Um, so there's, I just want to bring this up. There's a, a there's a platform called Vuel. V U E L E. I know about Vuel. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Basically, what they're doing is it's the first ever feature film, right? As an NFT. Yeah, it's like with that with last last contact with Anthony Hopkins or yeah, something. Yeah. So that's it's like gonna be like the Netflix or something of NFTs in a way. So they're bringing feature films as NFTs, so you can buy films as NFTs. Also, like uh, you know, movie collector merchandise as NFTs. And their first film they're dropping on their platform is a with, big one. with a, an Academy Award winning uh, actor Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, the trailer looks sick. And I feel, think it's the thir- first ever film in from uh, Antarctica as well. Or yeah, 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 I like right? that. So there's a lot awesome. of cool little things there that I like. Awesome. It's interesting just in the NFT space what's Absolutely. happening, right? For sure. Well, I think there's a good mix of large cap, mid cap, and small cap gems for NFT tokens there. Uh, do you have anything else to add? Nope. Just make sure you all tune into the next episode. That one's going to be a fucking banger.